أقبل يا حافظ القرآن ولتسمع الدنيا حداك We modern astronomers have been studying very small fields of the universe. We concentrated our efforts to, for understanding of very small parts because by using telescopes, we can see only a very few parts of the sky without thinking all the universe. So uh, by reading Koran and by answering to your questions, I think I can find my future way for investigation of the universe. Muhammad was a very ordinary man. He couldn't have read. didn't know to write. In fact, he was an illiterate. And uh, we're talking about 12, 1200 years ago, you have someone, an illiterate person, making profound pronouncements and statements uh, that um, are amazingly accurate of a scientific nature. And uh, I don't, I personally can't see how this could be a mere chance. There are too many accuracies. And like Dr. Moore, I have no difficulty in my mind reconciling that this is a divine inspiration or revelation um, which led him to these statements. I find it very interesting that this sort of information is is in the uh, ancient scriptures of the Holy Quran and uh, I have no way of, of knowing where they would come from but uh, I think it is extremely interesting that they are there and that this work is going on to discover uh, the meaning of some of the passages. Well, I would think it must be the divine being. Summary. The Quran describes not only the development of external form, but emphasizes also the internal stages, the stages inside the embryo of its creation and development, emphasizing major events recognized by contemporary science. Thank you for your attention. Uh, as a scientist, I can only deal with things which I can specifically see. Uh, I can understand embryology and developmental biology. Uh, I can understand the words that are translated to me from the Koran. Uh, as I gave the example before, uh, if I were to transpose myself into that era, knowing what I knew do today, and describing things. I could not describe the things which uh, were described. Uh, I see no reason, uh, I see no evidence for the facts uh, to refute the concept uh, that uh, this individual, Muhammad, had to be developing this information from someplace. Uh, so I see nothing here in conflict with the concept that uh, divine intervention was involved in in what he was able to In a relatively few ayah is contained a rather comprehensive description of human development from the time of commingling of the gametes through organogenesis. No such distinct and complete record of human development, such as classification, terminology, and description 
existed previously. In most, if not all, instances, this description antedates by many centuries the recording of the various stages of human embryonic and fetal development recorded in the traditional scientific literature. يتلوه أحمد الدنا وهي التي عطشت لقطر هداية هتاني سبحان منزله Professor Moore was also elected to the membership of the Royal Medical Association of Canada, the International Academy of Cytology, the Union of the American Anatomists, and the Union of North and South American Anatomists. Professor Moore has published many books on clinical anatomy and embryology. Eight of them are used as reference works in medical schools and have been translated into six languages, namely Italian, German, Portuguese, Spanish, Greek, and Chinese. It has been a great pleasure for me to help clarify statements in the Quran about human development. It is clear to me that these statements must have come to Muhammad from God or Allah because almost all of this knowledge was not discovered, uh, discovered until many centuries later. This proves to me that Muhammad must have been a messenger of God or Allah. It follows, I think, that not only is there no conflict between genetics and religion, but in fact, religion that God explains by adding revelation to some of the traditional scientific approaches. That there exists statements in the Quran shown centuries later to be valid with support knowledge in the Quran having been derived from God. Thank you very much. فقدره واصل خطاك على هدى القرآن هونا فسير في الأرض لا تعجل بها ما أنت thinking of many of these questions and thinking where Muhammad came from he was after all a Bedouin I think it is almost impossible that he could have known about things like the common origin of the universe because scientists have only found out within the last few years with very complicated and advanced technological methods that this is the case. Somebody who did not know something about nuclear physics 1400 years ago could not, I think, be in a position to find out from his own mind, for instance, that the earth and the heavens had the same origin, or many other of the questions that we have discussed here. <laughs> انهض إلى العليا بغير تواني واصدح بصوتك تاليا ومرتلا واقرأ وحرك نشوة الإيمان يا حامل القرآن يا شبل الهدى انهض إلى العليا بغير تواني واصدح بصوتك تاليا ومرتلا